Filipino Pablo oh, Pride. Filipino. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and we're getting straight into the draft here, guys. So, uh, no notice right. there, but we do have Power Pops versus Virtus game one. <clears throat> yeah, we're going straight into the bands here. Looks like a Zhang Fei might be the ban. I, I Zhang Fei was played a decent amount in EU. Decently strong here. Esrath. He plus oh, played. Is... Yeah, he, he's no, he's he's fairly new to the server. Yeah, uh, Dragos game, gets so. banned. We, I think he has the highest win rate right now, actually in Asia. So that's that's obvious. That's a, probably an obvious ban for these two teams. Nosferatu, we haven't, we never saw him play too much in EU. I think we saw one or two games, and he didn't seem too strong. But oh, there's the Aiden. We did talk about Aiden ADC, very strong. Yeah, Aiden's a really good ban. Um. You know, he can take towers with that long range attack. He can, you know, if you have a really good positioning in team fights, you can just shred everybody because your range, your auto range is just nuts. Yeah. And uh, there was an Apollo ban. We saw the strength of Apollo coming out from Shaolin that last tournament. He was very strong. Just in solo lanes, he can clear waves quick. He's very hard to kill. And he's a very good initiator as well as he can jump onto someone and get his uh, passive, which stuns on his first hit out onto like a carry. So. Uh, I like that ban. And then Freya, we saw Freya being picked a bunch last tournament as well. And a Wolfram. So, very similar bans from what we saw in EU. I wonder if the picks are going to be similar as well. Ares. Ooh, there it is. Very strong hero with the taunt. His uh, ultimate's very strong. Lunaria, we it, saw. It, it seems like Power Pops, they're, like, they're drafting almost the same as Shaolin did. They would ban out uh some adcs and then they would just run the the melee adc with which was mostly aries yeah aries aries and apollo him. they ran a lot of yeah so uh and sun wukong we saw the strength of sun wukong but we also saw this like the the negatives of him the strengths he can finish off kills right away but if he does fall behind it's very easy to just burst him down and he's not really able to do much in team fights so you know, keep an eye out for him. If he can get his farm and he can start finding early kills, he becomes a nuisance for all these squishies in the back line, whether it's an AD carry or a mage like beside him. So Yeah. Sun Wukong, if if he's able to farm really well and pick up that quick Igneos blade, he'll be able to burst anybody with his ult, pop the Igneos blade, his illusions doing mana burn. Burnator. So st standard picks here. I feel like it's very similar actually to EU scene. Arborist being picked up, Poseidon, Burnator, and Jean. Jean, we saw the power of her ultimate, especially co combining with uh, Lunaria. It can be very powerful. Yeah, I think she has the second highest win rate, if I'm not mistaken. She's very, very good pick. She's good for engage, disengage. You know, she you can use her as a support. Uh, I see a lot of people rush a, a gargoyles hot on her. Uh, very very versatile here. Mino, we didn't see a lot of Minos, but I, I know you had a little. You were telling me that Minos is strong on the on the mobile version. So, I mean, yeah, I think I think he is very it. strong. His uh, his pull range uh is a lot um the AOE on it. It's a lot wider and longer than it is on the PC version. Uh, he can actually like, literally, if anybody is in front of him, he can just pull them right in. But I don't. Do they have anything to chain it? Oh, I guess they they have Poseidon, right? They have the Poseidon yeah. They have Poseidon. They also have Arborus, and they also have Pyrus, who can drop those uh, Toros or those. Uh, it's like some people like to say the molten boulders on top of that. So they have some pretty good wombo, and uh, we're going. We're just we're just heading straight into game one of Power Pops versus Virtus. Which draft do you like a little better here? Welcome. To I think I like Virtus's. I really like seconds. how they have really, like really good dive with Sun Wukong, but mm -hmm. they also have a tanky, more AOE lineup. Like, I think Vince can pop alt and just like shred all of their their tanks, whereas Sun Wukong can get back like deep in their backline and just shred their their carries. So, and they do have those that engage or disengage from Jean. Yeah, so My standard opinion, here. Better. Ooh, Ares gets a nice gold buff. Wukong seems to get an attack buff, which is pretty good for him early game. He can just clear waves very quickly. Looks like they're putting pressure with three in the bottom lane here. Gonna give Ares the gold from these, these creep camps with the gold buff. That seems like... Mino seems to be AFK or... 
disconnected in the in the fountain. I'm not sure what has happened. Yeah, not really sure what's going on there. That's a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, but they're, they're playing it out. Arborist head, does head to the top lane. We see a Poseidon jungle. We never saw this in EU. I wonder how it's going to work out. He does have decent wave clear with his uh, his his waves. <laughs> Funny. But um, I don't I don't think he's the strongest jungler. I think Ares might be a little stronger in the jungle. Let's see you, uh, Sun Wukong. He's just, he's already cleared, like, his entire jungle, whereas Poseidon, he's only got half of it done. Yeah, I, I, I personally think that Ares is one of the strongest junglers and quickest junglers as well. Allows him to hit six very quick, and he can contest jungles with his, uh, he, get, he does buff himself defensively, right? He does have that buff. They try to go on at him. Bottom lane, he tries to turn, burn it, doesn't miss the stun. Wukong dropping low. Ooh, can Ares get the kill here? Wukong dropping so low. Ares going in. Poseidon does land the wave. That's first blood to power pops. And Lunaria does TP in. All TPs come in. Jean drops her. Oh no, Lunaria does take him down. So Ares does drop as well. Ooh, there's four man rotate already coming out of Virtus. Really good rotations. All right, they are going to shove this into the lane. Minos, oh, he's still not back. So that was a, a, a good engage, but they overstayed their welcome, I think, Power Pops. They they knew a lot of them TP'd in, but uh, Ares kept trying to duke it out, trying to get the kill on Lunaria, and they kind of just turned and blew her up. Or blew him up, rather. <laughs> yeah, they got a bit greedy there. They I like this. I like this from the top lane. The split push, it's happening early, and it's that's what they need. Rack up that gold lead early on. Yeah, Sun Wukong with his illusions, oh my god, it's just so deadly for towers. You know, getting that quick tower too, he is going to get that Ignos blade pretty early on, which is going to be pretty devastating well, Minos is back in the game, so this is good news for Power Pops. Dragon, Dragon is up. Dragon has just spawned not too long ago, Ooh. roughly like 15 seconds ago. Vince, Vince, he has that attack buff for Dragon here. That's gonna so be with that good. ulti, that's going to be deadly. Especially with the autos where he can attack twice. Uh, very different right now coming out from the Asia server. We saw previously in, in, in EU, people were instantly getting onto Dragon. As soon as it spawned, fights were happening or people were giving it up. Right now, no one's doing it. It looks like uh, Virtus is going to take uh, advantage of it right now and try to start it. But Yeah, they're just trying to get vision control around it right now. They know that Power Pops is on the other side of the Dragon Pit. They don't really want to start it. But they yeah. do have Lunaria in case Power Pops decides to do it. Lunaria can try to snipe it, if anything. I like this from Minos. He's, he's just going to split push until they force something, and then he'll TP in. Yeah, I think he can keep going here. I think he's uh, TPing really early. Oh no, I guess he does know something a little more than us, actually, that they're actually going in for Dragon. Dragon at half health right now. One team needs to commit here. They do. Oh, they're going in onto Dragon. Turo does get dropped. Dragon gets killed by Minos. Arborist does jump in into the back lane. G drops a huge four man ult. And Arborist drops solo. Great out there from Lunaya. And v Virtus is just taking this. Ares pops an all but can't get the kill on Burnator. They turn around and they land a kill. Lunaria does drop as well. Vince just killing people in the back lines. Good kill there from Poseidon and Ares combo there. That's a, wow. That looked bad for Power Pops in the beginning. <laughs> But yeah, Pyrus goes off. And they just turned it around. That was so big. Gene lined a big ulti too, but it just wasn't enough. Vincent, yeah. really good kiting. They just survived with like, really low health and they cleaned it right up. Yeah, it was, uh, that was, I thought, I honestly thought Virtus was going to take that fight pretty handily. Lunaria landed a sick ult off the back of Gene ult, uh, uh, Gene's, um, angel. And, uh, I, I really felt they were going to, do something, but I think Arbors went in and got two of them very low, and uh, Pyrus came in and just threw Toros out and yeah, what, basically what finished there it off. Was Sun Wukong, he got really, really low before the fight even started. Oh, uh, okay. just got bursted down, so they they lost a lot of their damage in that team fight. But I, I really thought it was still gonna go to Virtus because Gene landed like a three or four man all as well as Burninator chaining it with a stun. So when it looks like there might be a killer, Pyrus. There he does get the taunt. They're going on to Wukong now. Wukong's so low. Py Pyrus comes back in. Burninator dropping so low. Power Pop's taking this fight very easily. Jean did drop her all, but she doesn't get nothing out of it. Pyrus dropped so low. They needed that kill on Pyrus, and they weren't able to get it. Yeah, nice Poseidon out there. He he did catch the burn uh, Burninator there. 
-hmm. and he does fall. Now they're just gonna reset. Wait for that Poseidon ult to come back up before they take another fight. So this Pirates right now, 5-0-2. And, and we saw Pirates being ran a lot in the European tournament, but it didn't work out for some certain teams. Yeah, it, it didn't <laughs> seem too effective on the EU server when, when EU teams are running it, but right now he's doing work. Well, I think it's the, the comp though, the way they combo him, right? They're going in on bottom lane though. They do get the slow off onto Poseidon. They're gonna turn around though. Minos gets in. But he does he get pulls the illusion. Yeah, he pulls the illusion. But uh, going back to it, I think the the reason why Pirates is working so good with this lineup is they have so much wombo with his abilities, right? They have the Ares taunt, they have the Mino stun. Pirates dropping so low here. Wukong does jump in. Good pull by Minos. They are gonna go and Burnator dropping so low. Good ulti there from Lunara. Poseidon drops low. He's still in there. Burnator keeps dropping with the speed burst. Oh, two man stun. Ares drops as well. They're both so low. They're gonna keep going here. Can they get these oh. two kills? Oh, that's a good... Lunaria gets another kill. This is huge for Virtus. They needed it. They need to take this tower, I think. That's a good... That's a good turnaround events for Virtus. They're bringing the gold lead back to only 1k now. When it was at around 6k. Yeah, that was a really good fight from Virtus. I, I think the... Burnator landed a really big stun there that was able for them to turn it right around. And that's what I'm talking about, Jean's support here. She's so good, she can just drop her AOE on her whole team, heal them right up. And if they, they try to, like, because Power Pops, they have so much dive with Ares, Poseidon, Arborist, Minos, she's just able to drop her ult right on her on her uh, carry and be able to turn the fight right around. Yeah, I think what, what, what helped out um, Virtus there a lot too is Sun Wukong did dive. Under the ooh, Zakar does get killed here by Verse. They're gonna try to find the kill here in the jungle. Looks like no fight's gonna happen initially. But uh, going back to it, uh, Sun Wukong jumps onto the Pyrus and gets him so low he wasn't able to actually output damage in that fight, and they missed a lot of damage there. Arbris is gonna go onto the bottom. He does pop his ult. Does let it go. Sun Wukong jumps in with his ultimate, but he doesn't get anyone. Counter kill. Jean drops her ult. Angel goes down. Burnator tries to jump in. Does land his slow. Toro goes out. Hits no one. And it's just a one for nothing. Good, good uh, trade there for Power Pops. Sun Wukong kind of just goes in and doesn't get anything out of there. Well, he he got the tower right, so I, I actually think it was a good trade. Whereas okay. they're, they're getting global gold and power pops to the stuff. Good stun by Burnator. Pirate shot so low. Very, very low. Poseidon, he does turn around and ult though. Mino's gonna pull in Burnator. Burnator getting really low, but Vince doing some good kiting. They're all really, really low here. Yeah, this Vince pick, I really like it. They, I think it's very good just because their team is so like engage heavy with Ares, Arborist, and Minos. If they can't get to this Vince, he's just shredding them from the back lines and they're not really able yeah. to jump onto him right now free dragon as well so they got zakar and the dragon like i was saying like if they were to even try to jump on vince uh gene would just drop her all right on her carry and he would be able to kite you know, yeah up. and they jump in lunari does blow up pyrus pyrus drops low aries does get blown up as well vince just shredding people they get caught out poseidon dropping so low another kill for vince vince just outputting damage minos dropping so low huge coming out from virtus here just changing this game around with us a car buff they might actually win it here arborist trying to defend gets stunned gets stunned up but i don't think they're going to be able to get this kill he's going to get to this fountain just in time game right here yeah well, there they are arborist jumps in with his ultimate but he won't be able to do anything game one going to virtus big change of events there eh, Sean? I, I it was looking good at the beginning for power pops but uh it didn't didn't end well for them clearly yeah it was it was a little bit unfortunate too with minos DCing the first three or four minutes of the game mm -hmm. uh, i feel like they could have snowballed their advantage a little bit more if he was there but uh power pops you know they, they had a big gold lead they lost a crucial fight uh just you know Virtus, they 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 know they knew how to play their comp really well. If if anybody dove on the carries, Jean was there. They were ready. They were chaining all of their alls perfectly. Sun Wukong was diving onto the Pyrus. You know, Pyrus couldn't get as much damage off as he could. And yeah, Virtus played played it very very well there. Yeah, they they used the Wukong kind of as a initiator and made them have to go like protect their Pyrus while like Vince 
he, he was kind of a distraction for Vince, is, is what I'm trying to say. Like, he, he would just kind of go in, output his damage, die, and then Vince would just either finish them off or just shred people while no one's really concentrated on him because people are trying to get Wukong off their Pyrus. So I really like the way they played that out. And after they had Zakar, they really used it to their advantage, start pushing towers, and they caught out, I think... Was it Poseidon they caught out instantly there in the top lane and they just kind of snowballed there? I think Power Pops had to just back off instead of trying to fight and they kind of just snowballed and won the game from that just from that one team fight, which does happen in Heroes Evolved. You can't give any team anything. Yeah, they, they really should have just backed off and played it high ground because, yeah, like you said, Poseidon, he kind of got caught out there. He was trying to defend his tier two, but... Virtus, you know, they had the car buff, and that's really not a fight you want to take. And if you were to take a fight, you'd probably want to take it in your base high ground. So just Virtus, just really well played to them. They, they utilized their comp very, very well, and, you know, they turned the game around and got the win there. Yeah, so we'll be back, guys, very shortly, maybe five, ten minutes at most, hopefully, if these guys get into the lobby right away. But we'll be back with game two of day 